Johnson & Johnson is now offering to pay nearly $6.5 billion to settle tens of thousands of talc uh, cancer lawsuits. Those lawsuits allege the company's baby powder and other talc-based pro uh, uh, products caused ovarian cancer. Court records show ovarian cancer claims make up 99% of the talc-related lawsuits that have been filed against the company. Johnson & Johnson says the claims have no merit, but the settlement is intended to resolve the issues. The settlement offer will be voted on over a period of three months, and if approved, Johnson & Johnson will likely file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy and pay the settlement over the course of 25 years. A local physician is back to work after taking some important time off. And as our Christelle Kume reports, that doctor now has a new perspective on the patients she treats. Over the last decade, family physician Dr. Anna Teckington has donned her lab coat at Sharp Reese Steely. I take care of patients, you know, from age you know, zero until you know, 105 has been my oldest patient. Always striving to improve patients' health, whatever ailment they're facing. I really love having that long-term relationship with patients and taking care of them in good times and bad and, you know, helping them be the best version of themselves. Last year, everything changed when Dr. Teckington took a seat on the exam table. I all of a sudden was diagnosed with breast cancer. She got the news right after her 48th birthday. Initial images showed cancer on at least one side, possibly both. There really wasn't time to process. It was really more fear-based at that point. Um, you know, I was scared and I had to stop what I was doing in order to take care of myself as a patient. She stopped seeing patients to focus on her own health. I knew this was kind of the beginning of my breast cancer story. I always anticipated with having breast cancer that I would have you know, something that was really small, like you know, the size of a pencil eraser or something smaller than that. And this was a little over an inch in size. She was um, a clinical stage two diagnosis, so she had a fairly sizable mass. Dr. Norrin Berry is a breast surgeon with Sharp Reese Steely colleague of Dr. Teckington. She arrived at my office really um, worried and feeling very vulnerable. And I, you know, I, I reassured her about her um, prognosis, that she was really going to have an excellent prognosis. Three weeks after her breast cancer diagnosis. Surrounding the biopsy clip is her three centimeter mass. It's far enough from the nipple. Dr. Teckington underwent multiple surgeries, including a double mastectomy. I actually was able to offer her a nipple sparing mastectomy. Most people just absolutely love the outcome of this. It looks more natural. Many more procedures and surgeries followed, and today, Dr. Teckington is cancer free. So, how's it been going since the reconstruction? So, I mean, in general, I'd say I'm in a really good place at this point. It's been six months, if you can believe it. Um, yeah, but I'm still going to physical therapy and, you know, starting to actually swim again and getting active. It's, it's been, it's going well. That's great. Are you back to work? Yeah, yeah. I uh, started back at Virtual Urgent Care uh, in January. Wearing her lab coat again and doing what she loves with a new perspective. I've always been so focused on my patients that I have not necessarily left space for myself. And I'm learning how to find that balance and encourage that to other people as well. In Kearney Mesa, I'm Christelle Kumway.